and in this screencast I'm going to show you how to import a custom library into Draw.io and then use that library to create a simple flowchart diagram that's special to the color scheme in that library. So let's start. First thing you need to know is that the library we're going to use is under Architect Diagrams in this user's, lib uh, this user's GetLab account. And we're going to go into Draw.io, and there are the libraries. And there are two libraries. One's called RH Core Color, and the other one's called RH Secondary Colors dash AXML. And these are taken from the Red Hat Style Guide. And the library we're interested in is the RH Core Color XML. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to go to download. I'm going to download it to my local machine. And as you can see, it downloaded. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Draw.io, and the way we get to Draw.io is we go to Draw.io, it's a free utility, leave just to reload it again so you can see how it goes. Now we're in the Draw.io user interface on the web browser, and I'm going to go in, I'm going to actually first let me close everything up so I'm going to work in the common place. Wow, they keep everything open, don't they? Hmm. All right, so we're going to go to open library from device because I downloaded the library file. I'm going to go to device and there's my downloads directory. I'm going to select the library and these are the basic Red Hat core colors. And as you can see there they are. So that's the first part of the demonstration. I showed you how to import a custom library into Draw.io. Next we're going to create a custom flowchart that uses the color scheme. So I'm going to use the general shapes. And in this case, I'm going to say, okay, I have a flow chart that's on the, um, going to get some stuff from the web. It's going to process it, all right, and then it's going to save it to a database. And these are the standard uh, shapes that come with Draw.io, but I'm going to customize it to the Red Hat color scheme. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, the process uh, box, I'm going to make that a color that's special to Red Hat. So instead of using this one, I'm just going to take that and put that over here. And we'll call this, we'll call this um, uh, process, process doc. And let's say I got the document from the cloud. So I'm going to go up to the cloud, and now if you look over here, you'll see there's things like fill and lines and all that good stuff. So what I want to do to stay consistent with the color schema of Red Hat what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, select the color scheme. In this case, I'm going to make the line red, but to fill this light pink here. So I'm going to pull this over here. I'm going to grab the color for the line red. I'm just going to copy it using Control C on my keyboard. I'm going to cancel here. And then I'm going to go to line here. I'm going to put the color in using Command V or Control V. Okay, now you can see it's turned red. That's pretty cool. But now I want to fill it with pink. So what I'm going to do back here is I'm going to go get the fill color, which is this pinkish fill color. And I got that from the library. I just hijacked the color from that square. And I'm going to go to fill. And I'm going to go here, put that in. There's the color. And you can see now I have the red fill. Now I have process. We'll call this here docs. And you see I have, this is just docs in the cloud. We'll make it simple, docs in the cloud. Let me make this a little bigger. Yeah. We have back to get rid of that. Now we're going to store this as making, we're going to make the database. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to make this, let's say I'm going to make this the same color schema as is cloud in, in the, uh, the cloud, doc in the cloud. So I bring this color, this color square over. And I'm going to grab the color here. And I'm copy it to the command V. Cancel command V and cancel. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to fill color. And just so you have the present, I'm going to go to paste. I paste it in the fill color. And then I'm going to go to the line. And I'm going to paste in the line color. Uh, but see, that's really no good because as you can see, that could all the line made the lines go away because they're the same color. We don't like that. Rather, I want the line that's the dark red. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to copy, 
I won't use the keyboard I'm using now. So I'll go back to here and I'll grab line and I'll paste that in. And then you can see I have that nice database. And I'll go and I'll call this data. Right? And then the other thing I can do if I want to increase the width of the line, that's good. So the next thing I need to do is put in some arrows. I'm going to draw I.O. I'll go put an arrow. I want that straight. And so I can leave it black because you can see there's a black color in the Red Hat color schema. I can increase it like that using the uh, style increase on the right hand side. Increase it to four points. And then I can go here and even that up. And you can see that worked fine too. And I'll call this doc data. Uh, process doc. And that's fine. I don't need doc data. That's fair. It's going to process doc. So I got the doc from the cloud. I processed it and listed it to the database. The important thing to understand is I've used nothing but the colors as defined in the Red Hat color scheme. So the last thing I need to do is make this so that it looks nice if it would be placed on the page. Because if I save it now, I don't have a white background. And that's not very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gray square, which is compliant with Red Hat. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to bring this over like so. I'm going to bring it down like so. Then I'm going to send it to the back. And now you see I have this nice regional delineation. So if I were to export this as a ping file, you can see the whole thing as one image. So the question is, how do I do that? So let me go. I'm going to go export as PNG. I'm going to export. It's going to say, where do I want to export it to? And I'm going to call this uh, Cloudflow. And there's a number of places. Now I want to keep it on my device. So I'm downloading, so I put it to cloudflow.ping. You can see that. And if I go to my uh, downloads directory, you can see there's cloudflow.ping. So there you have it. So what did I do? I went out to GetLab, which has the library I'm interested in. I downloaded it. I went over back to Draw.io, and I went to File, device, open, open library from device, and then I went to the download directory, got the library, I put it into the draw IO interface, and I did some um, creation. I created the diagram using the color schema from Red Hat, and there you have it. So thanks for watching the video, and I hope you found it useful.